Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Nice. Um, good evening. Let's start. Just let me uh, open my computer right here. My goodness. What's that, Antonio? Juan Antonio, it's with the movie at the back. Okay, so welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nadie quería venir ahora, quizás, right? <laughs> ya quieren el holiday desde ahora, bastante. Ya no quieren trabajar, ya no querían trabajar ahora en la tarde. So, because of the holiday tomorrow, right? But anyway, so we do have class, right? So, but it's just one hour, so. Um, let's start, let's see, we are 18 participants. Falta todavía que vengan muchos, 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 pero bueno. Um, the time is running and it's really important to start on time to end on time. Uh, let's see, uh, Lenin Hernandez, how are you, Lenin? Fine. Thank you. Okay, so did you do something special today? No. Yeah, normal. In English? In English? Normal day. Okay, what's a typical regular day? Okay, so what do you do, Lenin Hernandez? In the work, I am um, despacho mercadería, no, no sé cómo se dice. So you are like a, in a desk, like in a front desk, selling products or? No? Vendiendo productos, selling products? Mm. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, I see. Okay. So let's see. And what about you? Let's see, Cecilio Antonio, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I find very well. Okay, so you are very nice, very well. Okay, did you do something special? Did you work today or do you wear like Home office? Uh, I work in, 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 in Tarea de, de English Corporation. ¿verdad? Okay, you, so you were working on, on homeworks, that's what you mean? Cecilio Antonio? Uh, I am finished. Okay, so you finish your homework, right? So, uh -huh. okay, so, but did you work today? Did you work in your job or something else or just you were resting at home? Uh -huh. uh, repeat. Yeah, what, what do you do? What Don't... do you do, Antonio? Antonio, what do you do? Uh, I work in ret retiration. So where do you work? I'm sorry. Don't no dice where, where, where do you work? Where? Uh -huh. Donde, donde, where? 
¿Dónde trabaja? In, 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 I don't work in. Oh, you, uh, don't, you don't work anymore. So you are already out of your um, work activity. So you don't have like a formal job nowadays. Okay. Nice. That's why you mentioned that you were like doing homework, right? Because you have plenty of time. That's nice. That's nice that you are, you know, learning English and having, you know, the since you have the opportunity, right? Nice. Let's see. Okay. What about you, Luis Alfredo? Tell us, Luis Alfredo, what is uh, today date? Uh, today date is. Thursday, uh -huh. Thursday, July 6, 2023, the date. Okay, date. so, aha, uh -huh. there you go, okay, July the 6th, right, with TH at the end, the 6th, right, um, 2023, right? Okay, so let's see the same question, Maria Magdalena, tell us what is a today date? Um. Good teacher, and today I work in uh, from office and go up. Okay, so you work from the office or home office? Uh, from office. You went to your job, right? So you went to the place that you go um, every day. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, nice. So you have like a regular day as in that case, right? Um, no problem, nice, Maria Magdalena. Uh, let's see, Catherine Giselle. What about you, Catherine Giselle? What do you do? Uh, hi, good evening. Uh, my my today um, I'm at work in office and at work computing a uh, program Excel a uh, static in um, statisticas contable uh, okay so you, you you study at the university right yes Okay, so uh, statistics, my okay. goodness, that's that's not easy, right? That's kind of complicated. So what is your career about? What is exactly your career? Um, what is your, um, your bachelor? You know, what is the meaning of bachelor? People that is at the university, they are like, you know, in the career. So the bachelor degree, it's like the, the, the goal, right? The diploma that you get at the end. So we say uh, bachelor. So what is your specialty, Giselle? Or what is your the name of your career? Uh huh, Giselle. Yes. No, Giselle, Giselle. So, what is your career about? So, what do you study? Yes. Yeah, listen, listen to the question. What is your career about? What is the name of your career? So, what do you study at the university? Mm. No. ¿Qué carrera estudias? Ajá, uh -huh, there you go. What is the, the name, right? The, the name of the career. And card in study estadística en licencia administración. Licencia administración. Okay, business administration, right? Okay, business administration. So that's your career. 
So that's the name of your career and that is your bachelor, right? So your specialty. Okay, nice. So uh, let's see what I have right here in the chat. Okay, Byron, Giovanni, no problem. Uh huh. So let me move on to the to the. I have a family situation. Okay, no problem, no problem. So let me go back right here to the attendance file. And let's see. Deje ver donde estamos aquí. Asistencia. Okay, please um, let me know if, if you are here. A ver, ¿qué pasa con esto? Okay, so let me know if you're here. Ada Rossi, Ada Veronica, I'm sorry. Sí, teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, then we have Alexandra Jamilet. Alexandra. Then we have Alexis Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see, then we have uh, Alicia Perez. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Marie Isela. I'm here, me. Good evening. Good evening. Nice. Welcome. Uh, Brenda Claribel. No. Eh, Byron Giovanni, ahí está. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Nice, Carlos. Cecilio Antonio. Eh, Present Miss. Nice, Jacqueline Vanessa. Present Miss. Okay, Jacqueline. Then we have Jennifer Arevalo. I'm here, Miss. Nice. Jose Alejandro. No. Um, Juan Antonio. Catherine Andreina. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine uh, Giselle. No está Giselle. Me acuerdo que sí estaba, pero no sé. Eh, no. Then we have um, Kevin Alexander. Kevin, Kevin, no. Eh, Lenin Hernandez. Present me. Nice. Leticia Judith. Present me. Nice. Luis Alfredo. Present. Nice. Maria Magdalena. Present me. Nice, Martin de Jesus. Martin, no. Eh, Miguel Antonio. Miguel, no. Eh, Nelson Eduardo. Nice. Noé Ezequiel. Present, Miss. Nice, Noé. Norma Lisette. No está. Eh, Olivia Reisha. Present. Nice. Eh, Oscar Alexander, por ahí vi que estaba conectado. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, Zaira Idalia. Present. Nice. Eh, and Silvia Esther is there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. So we have many absence today. My goodness, alguien haya ingresado y ya lo había mencionado para actualizar porque hay bastantes ausentes. Bueno, no. So uh, we are going to continue. Okay, so just let me share the screen really quick. 
Um, let me see where are they. Okay, so this is the part that we start. We stopped yesterday, right? The where it's one neighborhood. So. Um, I don't know if we finished the reading, I guess, no. So we were about to start, right? So we were about to start. So the world in one neighborhood, okay? So let's see, um, Sylvia is there, help us, okay? So I'm going to read this, that the red letters or the red square. Scan the article, then check the countries that are not mentioned. So we have Brazil, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Romania, and Thailand. So we are going to see which ones are not mentioned in the reading, okay? So start with the number one, uh, Silvia Esther, please go ahead. Okay, I will read or only mention? Just read, read the number one, please, okay. sorry, read everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cake, cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's a story. A neighbor in Queens, New York City, Astoria was a, Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighbor, but the area is changing fast. New, new residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Okay. There you're on mute. Goodness, yeah, I'm on mute. So, le presioné, pero no se activó. Sorry. So, yeah, thank you, Silvia Esther. Very good, very nice uh, pronunciation. Very good, very thank nice. You. So, uh, remember the names of countries, since we don't really use it, so sometimes we have some difficulties, right? to pronounce the, the, the countries or the nationalities, even in Spanish, right? So we are not good at, let's see, we are not good at geography, okay? Even in Spanish, usted le dicen, mire, este, donde queda Norway? How, do you know Norway, the, con the country, right? So that's a country. So le dicen a usted, mire aquí en el mapa mundi, right? The, 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 the map. So where is Noruega? Donde esta Irlanda, Tailandia? Difícilmente nosotros ubicamos ge ge geográficamente, right? Even in Spanish. So now in, in English it's a little bit more difficult because we don't know how to pronounce it, okay? But Silvia, you did it very nice. Perfect, okay? So um, let's see, let's continue with the, the next one, the number two. So let's see. Um, uh, Ada Veronica. So Ada Veronica, help us please uh, read the number two. I don't know if it is, yeah, I guess it's, it's, you can see it, right? Okay. The new residents bring many traditions, these traditions, blend together to make Austria truly multi multicultural when people are surrounded by different culture they adopt the thing that they like say one resident here in Austria it isn't so su supporting that surprising it is it isn't surprising it isn't surprising that an india woman by mexican tortillas from a korea korea grocery store 
it's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. That's okay. very nice. The neighborhood is special. So we have many like traditions right here, right? Different cultures, like it says in the article, right? So you know what is the meaning of resident right here when we say uh, say one resident. So what is the resident? Hello, hello. No one, nadie sabe cuando que, que a qué se refiere acá. Resident. What is it? So, so the green cards? Mm, yeah, can be. Uh -huh, can be the, 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 but that, this is the people, right? So from that country, okay? So the people that is like, the people that was born, right? With that nationality. So like Salvadorians, we are residents from El Salvador, right? So because we were born here, we grew up in the country, right? So if you go move yourself to a different country, so you are not resident, okay? Because you don't, you don't, you were not born on that place, okay? So uh, let's continue with the number three. Uh, let's see. Vamos a ver. Martín, Martín, I see that you are there. So Martín, se me perdió, pero por ahí lo vi. So are you at home, Martín, or are you driving? Yes, but, but I, I can't no, if read. You are, if you are driving, now you are not able to read. No, no driving. So you are I'm waiting parking. for your wife. Okay, I'm so parking. in that case, yes, you can go ahead and read. So the number three right here, it isn't surprising. Okay, it isn't surprising that, that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. Live or life, teacher. So in this uh, case, to live, to live okay. life with something else. Okay. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public trans transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good, fra good fresh fruit, fruit and vegetable market. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and crummy. As one long time president say, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, perfect, very nice. Okay, very good. So, um, let's see. Astoria, it's a neighborhood in Queens in New York City. So we are talking about that place, right? So where is that place in, in New York? So US, right? So in the US. So um, we have like different opinions or different culture, different like um, facts. That's the correct word, right? Different facts about this place, okay? So now let's see if we are able like to answer the, the initial question right so that we have right here in the in the in the reading so which are the countries that are not mentioned so do we mention brazil in this article Japan. Nope. do we mention brazil in the reading no no not really I right so we it. have to we have to uh circle check the country China, what about China? Do we have mentioned something about China? Yes, yes. yeah, right. They mention it. India, yes, Japan, Japan. Yes. No. no, right. So they mention Greek, they mention some countries right here in the sec in the first paragraph, Pakistan, Thailand, China, but not Japan. Uh Pakistan, yes, yes. Romania, yes. 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 
we do mention something, right? Uh, in the first. In the in the first um, right here, let's see, yeah, Romani. So in Thailand, Thailand, mm, yes, mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, we mentioned it, right? Yeah, we mentioned that country. So just a few countries. So look, if you have. Espérenme que alguien ahí, Juan Antonio, es, cuando usted sí. activa su micrófono, sí. se escucha ahí sí. la sí. película o no sé, pero. Ya que dijo. Sorry. Ok, ok, no problem. So, um, let's see. If we have words right here that we don't know, please look for the meaning, look for the usage of the word, ok? Probably there are like, you know, a few words that probably you haven't seen before, but I'm not, not because I don't want it to do it, but we don't have time to be like translating everything, right? So the idea is that you need to read and try to understand and comprehend in English, right? So, de para qué le voy a traducir yo esto? Si usted dice, es que casi no lo entiendo. So, my best advice is, Look for the words that you don't know or the words that you are not able to understand. Okay, look at for look at the the meaning just for those words and then put it into content, right? Hay que ponerlas en el contexto. Acuérdense que a veces una palabra puede tener varios significados. Entonces no es tanto eh, buscarle el sentido como el significado a esa palabra, sino más bien ponerlo en en contexto y relacionar de lo que estamos hablando para darle sentido a, a la palabra que tal vez yo no comprendo, okay? So look, this is the place, right, where we have the, the little star right here. So that means that this is that's like a, yeah, like a little small city, but it's in the, in the US, right? So it's in the, in the US. So uh, we are going to continue, okay, because uh, we need to, we have to. And uh, this is sales assessment. You know that every uh, two units, so we start, or we have a sales assessment. We are not gonna do it together because that is something personal, right? And also because we don't have time to be answering everything, all the book, right? So, usted cuando tenga tiempo, resuelva estas paginitas porque son uh, auto evaluation. Okay, so let's start with the unit number nine. So we have one more unit that we are going to uh, complete next week. So what does she look like? So this is uh, what tense is this one? If you see this question, what does she look like? Not the meaning. What is the grammar tense that we have in this question? Are you able to identify the, the auxiliary that we have here? Yeah, but I'm not asking for the meaning of the question. What does she look like? I'm not asking what is the meaning. I'm asking you which is the tense, which is the tense that we are using in this. This is a WH question, right? By the way, this is a WH question. So, but what is the tense, the grammar tense? Write a period about people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the meaning, but I'm not asking for the meaning. So it is this one like future tense, simple past, present continuous, verb to be, is present perfect it is present simple okay every time that we have the does or do as an auxiliary in a question like in this case is a question so immediately you need you need to keep in mind that this is simple present okay simple present i know the meaning okay but the important thing is that you need to be able to recognize the tenses every time that you have a question you need to understand 
the tense because that will give you the, the option to answer. Si le están preguntando, ya hemos dicho con el, el auxiliar eh, do, usted responde con el do. Y tiene que identificar que esto es presente, simple. No va a dar una respuesta en pasado. No, si es que yo ayer. No, because this is simple present, okay? So we have appearance right here. And this is vocabulary, okay? I have more words, but I guess we are going to keep these ones, right? So I don't know if you are able to describe someone, okay? Hope that you can do it. So that you need to describe yourself, you need to describe somebody else, right? So it says right here, look at these expressions. Can you uh, think of three more words or expressions to describe people? right then uh, belong, okay? So uh, we are going to see the ones that we have, okay? So when we describe appearance, so we are talking about the type of hair, the type of eyes, so the type of body, so about age, about, can be also about feelings, okay? So appearance is not just, uh, pretty or ugly, right? So it's more than that in English when you describe the uh, style of the other person. So uh, let's see, for the hair, we have right here, long brown hair, hair. We have short blonde hair. We have a straight black hair. And we have right here, curly red, here. <coughs> Sorry, so we have right here bald. So what is bald? Calvo. Calvo, right? So that is bald. Uh, mustache and beard, okay? That is uh, something that we are able to describe, right? The appearance of someone. Uh, the age, we have young people, middle age, elderly, uh, handsome looks, handsome and good looking. So what is, uh, how we can describe someone middle age? So what is the middle age? Mediana edad. Okay, una edad promedio, right? Una edad no joven, no viejo, right? Young, no young, no an elderly person person, right? So the middle age is el termino medio de la edad. Okay, now looks, we have handsome for a man, right? Handsome is just for a man. Uh, if we have like a lady and a man, so no le puedo decir pretty al hombre, no le puedo decir handsome a la mujer. So good looking is like neutral for boys and girls, right? So good looking. And the last one says pretty, right? So that would be for a lady, right? So for a woman, raro que yo le diga pretty a un hombre, right? So sounds weird. So, and what about uh, height, estatura, right? Short, uh, fairly short, medium height, uh, pretty tall, and very tall, okay? So right now, uh, try to analyze how you are. Okay, so in your notebook, please describe yourself. So there are other uh, themes that you can describe. I will send to you some uh, vocabulary about appearance, right? But right now, right, uh, your name, I am Larala Fulanito. I, uh, I have long brown hair or I have curly and red hair, I am young, I am in the middle age, I'm pretty and handsome, okay? I am medium height. So how you are, okay? Right now, just with these actions, okay? Solamente con lo que tenemos en el libro, le voy a compartir unas imágenes al grupo. Escriba ahí rapidito en tres líneas como es usted.
Okay, just let me see right here what happened here. No encuentro el, el grupo. Aquí está. So, write down. Just give me one moment right here. Okay, I send it right there in the in the in the group. So uh, as I told you right here, we have just age, looks, height, the type of hair, but we have more details that we can describe, right? Since we are in intermediate level. So we have different adjectives, for example, the facial features, uh, body types and shapes hair and hair styles, uh, skin tone and complexion. So, no solo se describe el pelo y la edad. So there are type of faces as well. If you are round, oval, square, long, long faced, okay? So that your, the color of your eyes, your nose, right? If you have a straight nose, if you have a long nose, if you have a small nose, the type of your lips, right, or your mouth. So, ahí usted puede ver esas imágenes, incluso hay más detalles para el pelo, the color of your eyes, and so on and so on. Okay, so we finish. You can put it right here in the chat. I don't know if you already write it down. Nice, okay. So yeah, my hair, it's color black, black color, okay. My hair, it's black. Color, is, sí, verdad, lo entiendo, color negro, okay. Eh, pero en, en inglés está redundante, está como, como, como de más. Um, let's see, my skin is right, I have brown eyes. Acuérdese que el adjetivo va antes del nombre, en español va primero el nombre y después el adjetivo, pero en inglés es al revés, ok. So, es al revés, usted está poniendo el adjetivo antes, ok, antes del nombre, that means that uh, my hair, let's see, my eyes are brown, or I have brown eyes, I have long hair, it's a straight and brown, brown color, I am a uh, I am medium height, el off está de más. I am a middle age and had very short black hair. Mm -hmm. I, I know it, I am, okay, to be, I am young. My hair is long and black and I'm fat, okay. Ahí le falta ir verbo to be. Okay, hello, I'm Vanessa. I have wavy hair and color brown. Okay, color brown. My eyes 
are, ahí falta el verbo to be, quiero ver, sí. My eyes is, no, solo un ojo tiene, dos, son dos, right? My <laughs> eyes are black and I am medium height. Eso sí está bien. Uh, but it's smiling since no, okay. So I am medium high, I have brown eyes, I have short, short black hair, very nice. I am pretty, I have a straight black hair and I am middle age. Ahí solo la, creo que le fue una letra de más ahí o incorrecta, pero I understand. I am a middle age, my black eye, no, it's al revés, right? My eyes are black and I have black hair. Okay, so uh, because of the time, so we are going to uh, stop for a while with this and please study the, study the, the, the appearance words, right? So, déjeme ver aquí algo. O si está, pueden ver esta pantalla. So, doble H. Déjenme. Denme un segundo, we have like. Hmm. How many, how much, that's the. Okay, I have like a game, okay? And the idea is to practice, right? To practice how much and how many, did you remember? En teoría contestamos unas preguntitas ayer, ¿verdad? Yes. How much and how many? So I have like a kind of questions right here. Just let me share the screen one more time. And... Ok, permítame que no compartí sonido. Okay, so uh, let's see. Juan Antonio, read the question and the, the answer, okay? So what will be the answer for you? Mm -hmm. How many pancakes can you see? How many, okay? How many How pancakes many? can you see, okay? So that's right. Let's continue with the next one. Uh, let's see Jacqueline Vanessa. How much sugar do you take? Okay, so how much a sugar, right? How much sugar do you take? Very good. The next one, and um Maricela. I don't eat many. Okay, let's see. I don't eat many. Mm -mm. Okay, so remember uh, any, we mentioned that any lo íbamos a ocupar más que todo en, en oraciones negativas, right? So, ahí, ahí creo que sí mencionamos eso, right? Any, that would be for negative. Usted ve que está en negative. So, that would be the, the first idea, right? That, that would be for negative situation. So, um, Leticia, Judith. Uh, a lot of okay, a lot of continue. People like apples. Okay, a lot of people like apples. Okay, very nice. The next one that will be for uh, Luis Alfredo. Luis Alfredo. Yes, how many carrots are there? Okay, so how many carrots are there? 
Very nice. Uh, let's see the next one that will be for uh, Jennifer Arevalo. Sorry, there isn't any milk. Okay, there isn't any milk. Very nice. So remember this that will be countable, right? Countable. So let's see, we have one more. Okay, déjenme voy a sacar el otro pen. Okay, so vamos a ver. Let me share the screen one more time. Okay, so let's see this one, the same. How much and how many? So let's see uh, Lenin Hernandez. How many lemonade is there? So how many lemonade is there? Very good. So no sé si logran ver la pantalla. Creo que hay un delay ahí porque no sé. Permítame, vamos a ver. Creo que es mi. Ustedes si logran ver. Ahí está ya. Ya se actualizó. So uh, that was my internet entonces. So Cecilio Antonio, go ahead with this one. How many eggs are there? Okay, how many eggs are there? Very nice. The next one, that will be for uh, Martin. How many pizzas are there? How many pizzas are there? Okay, nice. Um, let's see, the next one is for uh, Esther, Sylvia Esther. Okay, how much milk is there in the bottle? Okay, how much, there you go. Milk is there in the bottle. So let's see the next one. Bueno, ya le pregunté a todos los que están. María Magdalena, one more time. How much young is there? Okay, how much young is there? Okay, perfect. So remember, aquí lo que yo identifico, contable, no contable, right? So, Ada Verónica, go ahead with the next one. How many paper are these in your omelette? Catherine. What is Catherine Perez? So Catherine. Yeah, yeah, Catherine Andreina. Okay. That's you. <laughs> um, how many cheese is there in your sandwich? I'm sorry, I'm talking on mute, sorry. So cheese is uncountable, uh, Catherine Andreina. So that would be how, how much, right? How much? It no es contable. Uh, Catherine Giselle? One man. Okay, how many what? How many butcher is saving? Mm -hmm. So the same story, this is uncountable, okay? 
So el butter, todas las cosas que yo no puedo contar, many es el que cuenta y el match es el que no puedo contar. So, uh, let's see. Juan Antonio. How many animals are there? Okay, how many, right? So we can count the onions. Um, the, le the next, um, Jacqueline Vanessa, one more time. How many biscuits are there? Ah, my goodness, siempre me queda trabado, esto creo que ya no sirve. Sorry, so, biscuits, right? How many, How many uh, biscuits, biscuits are there? So, what is the biscuit? The, like the cookies, right? So, let's see, I have one more. Me falta uno todavía, de un segundo. Okay, so let me share the screen one more time. Casi no me gusta así compartir cuando hay oh, mucho sonido porque a veces si usted no tiene buena conexión de internet hay como un delay ahí al rato le, le oye el sonido, right? So let's see, we need to complete the sentence, read the sentence with the correct word, right? Some, any, or many, okay? So let's see, um, let's see Ada Veronica. I think um um, I'm sorry. Many. Okay, read the sentence, please. Read the sentence. There is many cases. The kitchen is good, good like. If you will like it, okay? So you say many, right? No, it's not. <laughs> okay, so let's see the next one. Um, Leticia Judith. He has, he has got any homework? He hasn't got any homework. There you go. So, esto está un poco lento, pero es porque ya lleva otro movimiento aquí. So, the next one, that will be for um, Lenin. I got some questions. Okay, there you go. Some. Um, the the last one. So, Martin. We haven't got. Uh, some peers. Some peers. Okay, sí la dio correcta ahí, pero no sé qué pasó. Eh, the last one, quiero ver, tengo tres minutos. I have to pass the attendance. So the last one, please. Um, Silvia, está. Okay. There it isn't. 
There it is in some bottle. Um, I, 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 I confused in around much. And Acuérdense some. que, yeah, it's, it's this one that will be, there isn't mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Because it is um, uncountable, right? Uncountable. So uh, I have just two more minutes. Faltan aquí algunos. La next week voy a ver si saco otro de estos para que practiquemos porque aquí eh, es como un quiz, right? So ahí voy calculando, midiendo yo si, 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 si domino. Y el sum y any creo yo que nos cuesta un poquito. Ok, recuerdo que les compartí el uso. Eh, del, del, del sum y any, ok, el any más que todo va para negative sentence, ok, y el sum positive and also negative, pero we need to validate if the, if the, the thing that we are talking it is uh, countable or uncountable, right, so before to let you go, please uh, let me know if you are here, bien bastantes que no contestaron, eh, Alexandra Jamilet, Brenda Claribel. José Alejandro. Eh, Catherine Giselle. Nice. nice. Eh, then we have Kevin Alexander. Martín de Jesús. I'm here. Nice. Miguel Antonio. Present. Okay, Miguel. And let's see, who else? Norma Lisette. Okay, ahí está Norma in the chat. Okay, so time is over. Okay, so thank God it's Friday, TGIF, right? Thank God it's Friday because we don't have class tomorrow, okay? So, um, we will see the class next Monday, right? Next Monday, the same link, the same time. And that will be the last week, okay? So do not miss classes because ya no van a ver más. Tiene que asegurar su 80% para pasar, okay? Next week will be the last one. So good night. Bye-bye. Take care. See you, you on Monday. Bye. Enjoy, bye. enjoy your weekend. See you Monday. Good night. Bye. See you Monday. Good weekend. Happy weekend.